Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Subnautica, shall we? Resuming our complete beginner's guide, and, well, let's take a look at ourselves. We were driving around, we got ourselves a little bit of ruby, which is tremendous. Uh, this allows us to make some more advanced items. Uh, let's see here. But we need deep shrooms to really, really start cracking into fantastic items. We did get the stasis rifle complete. So let's just go down. And this biome isn't perfect for us. But if we can... Let's see. Get past the nasties. There's a little cave here. There's some ruby right there. I really can't say no to that. So what you can do is just every once in a while jump out of your seamoth, even though we're 200 meters down. Oh. Why look at that. And... This is a moon pool fragment. Great. I believe something nasty just came by us, but yeah, it, it's one of these guys. And most of the time, they just want to eat the dirt and such, but they can damage you. And you can see they have actually damaged our sea moth. But we now learned how to make the moon pool. So I like to just take little chances like that. And we can move back in to this kind of mushroom biome which will take us higher up so you can see we're coming off of the seawall cliff and we're going up 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 and I want to just head back toward our base but I'm paying attention to what's littered about on the ground Um, do to do to do, do big salt clusters and such. There's a uh, fragment of the Cyclops it looks like down there, but we don't need that at the moment. We're just going to explore a little bit, but you know we can actually. Here, let me go into my inventory. Is my food all spoiled? Rotten and rotten. Yeah, okay. I waited too long to, to try to eat that, so those are both bad. We'll get rid of those later. Now, these are not deep shrooms. These are just regular shrooms because we're not, as it says, deep enough to find what we're looking for, but it's definitely what we want to be scanning for. Now, usually they're in a trench, but they're not in this kind of red, grassy, mushroomy biome, if memory serves. So, another thing you can do at this stage as you're just exploring is start to venture further out in arcs from your base and go deep. Now, you don't necessarily want to go near the Aurora, so that's where we are right now. You can see the Aurora. So this is not a great place for us to be looking. Although, uh, dun, 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 how deep is this? Nah, this is barely deep at all. Cool stuff. And you can see there's a bunch of shrooms down there if you want to go, you know, pick up some just acid mushrooms. These are good for batteries, so we can collect some. And there's a little cave system down here if we wanted to just explore, check it out. See if there's anything else of note down here. There's a weird creature egg. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. -hmm. 
copper. Wow, what a big pickup. All right, so that's it. I'm going to get out of here. Okay, so I'm going to go away from the Aurora wreck. And, oh, look at that. I'm like, why am I not moving? Well, we ran out of power. That's okay. Because we smartly are carrying an extra power cell. All right. And then let's go over here and load up the power cell. You have to kind of go down here to the bottom. And it's like where the exhaust pipe that's at least how I think of it. And you just replace that. And then there you go. We've got power. And let's get in the sea moth. Now we can move. For a moment I was like, oh my god, we've been grabbed by some devastating fish. And it's pulling us in. No, that, that isn't what happened. Um, have I thoroughly explored this? I, well, I mean, I think that I would have. But let me check this out. Is this like a, can I open it or burn through it? No. I can't burn through it. And what is this? Can I open this? No. Oh, I, but I can repair this. Okay, cool. So sometimes you'll find this where you can repair the, the wiring and then the door will open. Now, this is really, really close by what we've already explored. So we probably won't find anything that we haven't seen before, but it's worth checking out. We're only 23 meters deep. Yeah, there's like, what is this, a sea glide fragment? Eh. But one of the things I enjoy doing is just scanning all fragments anyway so that I know where I've been. Like, so I can look at it and be like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I was definitely there because I got all the fragments. And I don't, gosh, I don't see anything else here. But maybe at the beginning of the game, you'd be thrilled to get that fragment. Let's see if there's anything. Sometimes in these little escape hatch, like maintenance corridors, you can find access to another point that is good. There we go. And... Okay, um, well. Take a look at your O2, it's fine. Yeah, this is like Sea Glide Central. You can see there's more Sea Glide fragments here. So this would give you the entire Sea Glide if you found this. It would be difficult to have enough oxygen early in the game to get to this second compartment and scan everything because there is no way out of here except the way we came in, it appears. And that's a long bit of swimming to do with the starter O2. But maybe, maybe it's workable. See, you have to kind of wrap all the way around here. And then you'd be like, wait, wait, how do I get out? Looking around, and it's here. But because of our situation, with our O2 tank, it's no problem. All right, I'm going to head back. We're getting into a, I need food and water, and we need to drop off supplies. I'm also going to start building beacons. It's good for our exploration overall to just start placing beacons in the different biomes that we find so that we can just easily identify them. You know, like here, okay, this is the creep vine, you know, area where we got the stalker teeth and, well, actually, this isn't the exact place, but it's sort of that. And then we can go to the mushroom biome. We could check out the electric, you know, giant electric eel segment that was even deeper still. But the fun thing we can do now also is try to build a moon pool. All right, so I'm going to get out. I'm going to drop um, these rotten plant samples, and I'm going to get in. Now, notice how this is what we have to do every single time. Welcome aboard, Captain. We have to get out and come in like this. But what if, by the way, it's also time to charge up our deep, 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 deep power cell. Oh, right. Can't charge power cells here. Need something better for that. Touche. That's right. Well, we'll get there. 
but we might have to actually craft a power shell. Alright, so... Let's go in here and check this out. Power shell takes two batteries and rubber. You always want to use empty batteries for when building this. And let's see, do I have... Maybe I'm out of rubber. I got full... Oh, I have another power cell right here. Okay. Fair enough. I'll put this back then for later when we get the charging station. And... Here's all my stalker teeth. I'm going to put some mushrooms over here. I got even more batteries over here. I'm just replete with batteries. This is my ore bin. So let's dump in all of this. Fantastic. These are gems, so they don't go in there for now. Put our glass over here, I suppose. All right, looking better. Let's go get something to eat. Pretty good. That'll do it. I'm just going to chop this up so that I can uh, plant get it going again okay so where do i want to build a moon pool well i need enough space to pull into it so over there looks fine if i can so let me get my habitat builder ready i'm going to equip this on the first slot for now this is fine and let me build just a compartment i guess interesting this is called a compartment I call it a tunnel, but yeah, that makes sense. It's a, or a hallway or something. That's okay. Vertical connector, that's fun. No, we could build a, a T compartment to... No, let's build a... Do we have enough space to build an X compartment? Anyway, we'll figure this out. I'm going to take out all of my titanium. And start going to town. So if I wanted to build... Oh, I, sorry, I already have a comp compartment going this way. That's tremendous. So then I'm going to build the uh, X compartment right here. X compartment. Yeah, right there. No, T. No, no, no. That's not what I want. I want to... Um, here, try this again. Yeah, X. All right, there we go. Now we can really expand. So then let me go into here, and we need just, um, well, we need a moon pool. So this is going to take a lot. It takes titanium ingots, it takes lubricant, and it takes lead. We have all of that, but we need way more titanium to get ingots. So you know what time it is. We all know what time it is. I currently have what? Six pieces. Six pieces of titanium is 60% of one ingot. So we need a bunch more. And what's the best way to get titanium? Honestly, the best way to get titanium is metal scrap. So if I go over here and I just tell my scanner, I'd like to find metal salvage. And now it's going to start scanning for it. And as this picks it up, we will be able to just find it everywhere more easily. I don't even know if we're going to need... We do want to build, actually, some more power production. Do to do to do Where are my solar panels when I need them? I just need quartz and copper ore. I should make another one. There we go. There's the metal salvage popping up. So I got the copper. And apparently... Oh, that's right. I don't have quartz at all. I need to find that. That's no problem. Let's just get titanium. Quartz will be easy as we're exploring. Quartz is like something where you just dive down and you look for just some random cave. 
and you'll just find, you know, quartz anyway. There, there, there. Big tube. No problem. See, look at this. Even in this tube, there's just quartz everywhere. It clings to the walls like this. So it's easy to get. There we go. All right. Now let's look for the salvage. So you can see it's all over us. It's There's some right here. And you have to kind of play with figuring out how to use these little circles to locate stuff. But it's not that bad. You just aim at it and then you can begin to see like how far away this really is. Our range on the scanner isn't huge. So, oh yeah, these are easy to pick up. These might even be something that the stalkers were like chewing on. But each one of those is four. Now you can't carry very much. Let's look at our inventory. Yeah, we're full actually. So let's go back. But we're gonna, and also might as well while we're out here, let's take a look at our base. So you can see this is a great place for the moon pool right there. And then we can expand pretty freely. If we go this way, we can't build too much because we're going to run into this. But going this way, we've got plenty of space. We can also just build a vertical chamber right up from our entry room and have some things on top of us if we want. So let's go here and let me quickly just go uh, to the fabricator and um, I'm just going to make titanium from all of this salvage. And you can see we can already make the ingots. Unpowered. So, yep, we're out of power. The scanner is just a beast on your power. So we do need to build another. Well, I had already set that up, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to build another one of these really quickly. Where would this be? Um, right here. And give me a solar panel. And you can kind of put these just, you know, wherever. But if we want to build a vertical room, we might want to just stick this over here or something. There you go. Okay. And if we want to build the moon pool, let's go back over here. Lead lubricant. Okay. No problem. I thought I saw... Here's two lead. I don't think I have any lubricant in here, but I definitely have enough to start making some ingots. One, and I need a little bit more. Not a problem. Let me open this up and I'm gonna dump in all of my ore for the time being and my ingot, to be honest. Just put everything in there so I can pick up as much metal salvage as possible. We're going to turn the scanner off to save power in a moment. And I'll just go this way. Now, sometimes you'll make a mistake when you're swimming after one of these things and you'll realize it's like miles away um, or just too far away and you don't want to do it. So you just pick a different one. Sometimes it's hard to locate it. It might be like down inside a cave or something. But with metal salvage, it's generally not possible for that to happen so not impossible i suppose but very unlikely it's from the aurora so it just kind of fell down and is right here and i think i'm full okay now i'm full all right And I'm swimming so fast. There's a school of fish, boomerangs, it looks like. Let's get through here. And at this point, uh, we can definitely fabricate titanium. You can see our power, by the way, at the top center of the screen. It's gone up to 150 because 
each solar panel provides 75. We could build another one to get even more. You could see how it's just draining as we use the fabricator, as we keep the scanner on. Okay. Now, we just go here and let's see. No, this isn't what we need. What we need is right here. We have the ingots. We need one, two lead, and we need lubricant. I think I have some out here. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to just do a little bit of uh, power saving. And I'm going to tell it to stop scanning. You just click the X. Ah, there you go. You know what? Here's what else I'm going to do. Oh, you can't build it like that, huh? I'm going to deconstruct the hatch. And I'm going to build a eye compartment that goes here. Yeah, it's too long. And we're just going to build this whole thing. And I'm going to build a, a multi-purpose room right there, but the solar panel is in the way, you can see. So what I'm going to do is just deconstruct this and move it. You get all your stuff back, so no worries. And then now I'm going to go multi-purpose room. By the way, yeah, let me just restate that. You get your stuff back. And I'm going to build this right here. And these should be stackable. And, oh, you can build another one right here to make this like some giant chamber. Let's see what happens if I do this. This is not what I was expecting, but this should force it to connect there. And then I'm going to go, and I need to build another solar panel. Oh, but I'm out of titanium. Well, yeah, you'll have that. That was foolish of me. That was greedy of me. But we'll be all right. Now, in a moment... Okay, I've flooded this. Oh, oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, the reason this is flooded, it says damage due to weak hull strength of minus two. Build reinforcements or... Um, so... When you make your base larger and larger, the integrity starts to go down. So what you need to do is build reinforcements. So we can go here, and this is a good lesson. We just need to find the, um, oh, where are they? Large room, das dome, window, here it is. Um, reinforcements are three titanium and lithium. So I actually do have some lithium on me. <laughs> and we have titanium too. So let me grab all this and let me just build some reinforcements. So you can see it's the hull strength is minus two. So we just go here to the reinforcement, select it, and then just patch it up. Just put it wherever you want. It doesn't matter where it is. You just can put it on and it will add to the hull strength. Okay, and now we're positive on hull strength. I'm actually going to um, build another one right here. Just to give myself... Now I'm, po I'm positive 12. And then I'm going to enter the base. And then to fix this, you have to use the repair tool. And you have to patch these holes up. You just have to fix it, repair it. Like that. And any holes that you find, you got to fix in your base like this. Okay, looking better. And just kind of go through and yep, this is cracked. Fix it. And this is cracked. Fix this. And you can see a crack right here. All right, and let me just see where else. Sometimes you have to look on the outside for these Injuries to your base after that happens. Here we go. There it is. Draining systems initiated. So now that we've in restored the integrity, it will... You can see the water is draining. And our base is back to normal. And there actually is oxygen in here. But I do want to build some... Um, 
let me get to my builder. I'm going to build some power. I need one piece of titanium. Okay. No problem. Let's exit the base. And... Let me find some titanium, but also let me go over here and look for some lubricant. Alright, so I actually have this, which we can turn into lubricant, and we needed rubber anyway. So that's good. I'll take that. Um, yeah, I'll take gold and lithium, I guess. And now nah, we don't need that. Okay. Looking good at the base. Now, I do want to go in here really quickly and show you this. Um, we've got our oxygen back in here, and even though it filled up with water... You'll notice that everything is intact. Like, nothing is damaged from that happening. It's not like our plants died or things got washed around or anything like that. You're, we're good to go. So, you don't have to uh, be concerned. It's just something that happens when you overbuild your integrity on your base. So, you got to watch that. And you, c you can see your whole strength as you add new structures. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. All right. So let's. You know what? Um, because I had to use all that titanium to repair. I'm not sure I'm going to have enough, but here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead into basic materials and I'm going to make some lubricant. I'm going to make another one. And go away. And this battery is good. So let's take this battery out. Turn off the charger. I think I can make a moon pool now. Oh. No. Yes. Here it is. I was like, wait, do I not have enough titan? I do. I do. All right. I'm going to put in the quartz. Actually, one quartz, one copper. That's good. All right, let's go. And moon pool. All right, moon pool. Here we go. Right there. Let's see how this is. If we have to move it, it's no big deal because we know that we can just deconstruct it and get all of our stuff back. And we're just going to close this. And look at this. We have a moon pool. Now, what does this do? You say, what's the point of this? Well, the point of this is that you can just jump out and enter your base like this. But also, delete. I can take my seam off. If Welcome I want, and I can Oh, exactly. I hope so. Like Wilson from Castaway. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pilot my Seamoth under this, like this, and then you just kind of aim it and then the autopilot will take over and bring up your Seamoth, and it will, like, kind of set it down, just like this. So now, you can see in the moon pool, you have your Seamoth here, you can repair it, you can access the upgrades, you can access the storage, and then you can get in and out easily, so that you don't even have to leave your Seamoth when you're coming into your base. Now, this isn't completely done because I'm looking at my moon pool and I don't see the vehicle mod um, modification station. I don't think I know how to build that yet. So we're going to have to get that, I believe, to install it, but it's not a big deal. We have 
a moo pool. All right. So now, what's our objective? Our objective is to get titanium. So let's do that. Now, I could, of course, take my Seamoth to do this, but I believe... Oh, and by the way, uh, I can't get in... The, the way that it worked out, just as a heads up, like, I built these, stacked them up, but they don't open up. You actually have to build, like, little ladders in between them. I could have, instead of building the multi-purpose room on the second floor, just built a vertical chamber and then put a ladder all the way up. It would have probably taken less resources, but I wanted to just try stacking them all because I'd never really done that, and it looks cool. But now we need some metal salvage and such. We need some more titanium. Now, if there's um, anything we can scan, any fragments, that also will help us. Here's a big section of a door. And let's see, what do we have here? Any, any scrap metal chunks for us? You know what? That's what we should do. We should just go back over into stalker territory. Here's one. Here's two. And that guy got scared, and he farted his yellow death cloud, and we get away from that. Fine, fine. I don't know what you have to be scared of. Like, I'm a skin-diving fool on an alien world, and your kind have been here for uh, presumably a long time. And you're massive. All right. Let me get some more lubricant. Who doesn't want clusters? All right. What you got? There's a fragment. Mobile vehicle bay. Jackpot. All right. Let's head back to our base. This is enough titanium for now. First things first. Let me go here, and we need to build... I'm going to build a solar panel before I forget. And we're not going to be building any much any taller than this, so let's just put it right there. Delightful. And then, let me close this and go here. And then let's work on building um, a ladder, but we need to actually go here and break up the titanium marvelous all right and then I'm going to build a ladder mm, there so we can build it in the center or you can build it off to the side it depends on what you want to do with the room above so I'm gonna build it in the center And then I'm going to close this. And I'm going to go climb the ladder. Push X. And, oh, this has been damaged. Interesting. Who would have thought? Our integrity isn't a problem. It was just this, this was damaged before, but we couldn't even access it. All right, we need to build one more ladder. Let's see if this room is okay. Seems to be. Oh, no, it's not. Boy, we, we really got some breach problems here. One. I mean, the hull doesn't mess around when it breaks. And the scanner room itself might have some problems. Yep, look at that water just flooding in. My goodness. Calm down, water. All right. We're back. Draining systems initiated. We've done it. So now what we have is access to our scanner room. So we built a couple of ladders to come up here. And we can then just run up and use our scanner for more resources. So what I want to start building, like I said, were beacons. 
I want to put beacons just everywhere. Now, beacons require copper ore and titanium. That's it. So we need copper for this. So the best way to get copper is to come over here. And we want limestone chunks. So we're going to start scanning for limestone chunks to get our copper. And we can come down here and just climb down. It's slowly draining, by the way. We're going to be fine. And just click on this, climb down. It'll say climb down. And then you, you're you like, hey, and then yes. All right. And then we made it in here. And then let's open the locker. And I do have one piece of copper. So I can make one singular beacon. All right. So I'm going to put back the salt. I'm going to put back... Um, I'll try to make three beacons. Now nah, four is fine, actually. And then... I'm going to put in this locker right here. I'm just going to dump in this creep vine and this lubricant. This looks reasonable, what I've got on me. Let's eat a little bit before we go out and swim. Chump, chump, chump. Good. Now let's go. But you know what? Let's go in style. This is how we start leaving in style. We use our Seamoth. Actually, we don't need it. I like... I'm like, oh yeah, we need the Seamoth. No, we really don't. All right, that's titanium, which is fine. We swim away from these dudes. Limestone chunks make our lives easier. Now, these aren't always easy to find, unfortunately, because they can be inside a cave. But you see how much easier it gets to acquire something like copper when you can just point at these things and swim right at them. There's some copper. Yep, see what I mean? Like, this is over here, so we have to kind of swim through, and there it is. There's copper. So I'm going to go, and we've got three beacons worth... But we always need copper, so this is a good thing to just, you know, spend a little time harvesting. Mm, these are under us. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Titanium. Titanium? Well, we need that, too. Bad guy coming. Blowing up. Now this guy's going to hit us, but I really don't care. I got a piece of copper, which is more valuable than that guy's explosion. There's our grav trap, still there, still doing its work. Here's a limestone chunk. Look at all this copper. Trust me, future us is going to thank present us for getting all these limestone chunks. It's just inevitable. And, oh, there's a big boulder in the way. All right, fine. Okay. So, I can easily get more. But I think this is a pretty good amount that we've gathered. So, you can just go in here, and you can actually try to... Welcome aboard, Captain. If you're really fast when you come out of the water, you can, like, jump out and not even use the ladder... Uh, it's a pretty sweet dolphin-style move that you can do. I'm going to use a uh, med kit on myself. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to take out some med... Like, just one more med kit should be fine. And then we can go here, and we can make... Oh. Uh, deployables, and we want to make beacons. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, even. As many beacons as I can have, honestly, at this point. I need to set a bunch, and five is great. So, now, we have five beacons created. You can climb up really fast like that. There's no animation. You see how I just, like, flew up? It's pretty sweet. And I'm going to turn the scanner off to hide all of these things from my 
eyes. I don't want to see them. There they go. We've got a moon pool. We have beacons. We built our base even larger. We flooded it, but we reinforced the integrity. And we built a second power uh, solar panel. And we're doing awesome. So now we can go out and explore and actually leave beacons to help remember where things are for future gathering and harvesting and continue to have fun in Subnautica. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be fun and useful. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.